Welcome to the Loveland Report and the Lone Ranger Show. I am Cleve Loveland, bringing you all of your real estate news, and Bruce Woodburn, bringing you all of your mortgage news. Where are the rates at? What's going on in this red-hot market in Central Florida? How long will it continue? Is it starting to slow down with these higher interest rates? What's going on in the news? What can you trust? Most of what you see on TV, you can't trust. And the where are we at in this buyer's seller's market? And it's still a seller's market, Bruce. I get great numbers from the Board of Realtors. It's just, still... Uh, strong into a seller's market. I just get, I get, I just got fresh numbers. Inventory is actually up slightly, but still, it's actually. You know what's amazing? It's one unbelievable. You would say it's exact. Inventory is literally exactly the same as it was a year ago, with about a two to three week supply. It, and but you know all the news we're hearing on the national news is that real estate is just it's plummeting like crazy right well, now. Well, yeah. Well, that's usually they see like a one percent drop in sales, the amount of sales, and. And one thing about that, you got, that's why you always got to determine, am I listening to Florida news? Am I listening to Orlando news? Am I listening to national news? So, And then does that guy talking even own a house? I don't believe so. that any of that news, I, I swear to God, I read it and then I, you know, I read an article this morning that came to me through list reports and it said that President Biden is working on a plan to fix the housing crisis so that we have ample supply in five years. I'm like, how the heck does he expect to do that when he's got inflation through the roof right now? I guess right we, we need to ask the teleprompter. But some, some other numbers I want to That's a mention good idea. Here. Yeah. The other numbers I want to mention here is the number of new listings. Like every month in Central Florida, there's about 4,000 new listings. And we're having about, uh, about 3,500 to 4,200 contracts every month. So we're chewing up that new inventory. Yes. And right now I think some of the roadblocks, one of the big roadblocks I'm helping a lot of people with, they're, they're confused. How do we sell our house and buy another one? Because nobody will take my contract contingent on my home closing. There's no contingency contracts yeah. right now. And so you've got to either move twice or you, you can approve them to buy the other home. Yes. Or I'm getting a lease back easily. As long as I put a listing up front, I'm easily getting that. With multiple offers, I can just say, hey, we need, we need two to four weeks in the home, two to six weeks. Um, and it's not a problem that gives you effectively gives you almost two months to shop and find your home or live with the in-laws um, or so, move into your car. No, well, if, if it's a Prevo or something like a motorhome or something, maybe. But it's the inventory like the market is about the same. We just need more supply. We need more supply. And but I you think, know what? They say that it's going to take builders 10 years just to catch up catch on up, the supply. Yeah. And the builders right now, I'm seeing I'm seeing the builders release things. And like what they're telling us now is like when they get a house to frame or concrete walls are up then they list them because they know then they're going to get them completed within the next three to four months because they're they're trying to project their their money their yeah. revenue well we typically we don't order an appraisal on new construction until the cabinets are in and then we can anticipate about 45 to 50 days yeah and so and then what you know i've heard some things about interest rates are we in the sixes well, we are in the sixes for some folks, depending on your credit score and the type of loan you're getting. But, I mean, I locked in a few loans this week in the fours still. So they're still available so, for high credit score So borrowers. right there, that's what's important about them calling you. And you're going to give out the number in a second. Because you can look at their credit report and you can look at everything and say, this is well, what we sure, need to fix. Well, sure, not everybody's created equal. Yeah, I mean, I've, I actually am, I am sitting there. I am waiting and fa I am fast-tracked waiting because I see deals come up in, that I get to before the public and before I put them in right. MLS. And sometimes I'm looking for another one right now, another home for myself and another home for a rental portfolio. And I want to be ready and ready to go. So I just, so, you know, it's interesting yeah. you say that because do you, it, I, I'm assuming that our listeners out there, by the way, just let, before we get too far on this, give us a, your number, please. Uh, please. Loveland properties, 407 352 Eight one one eight. Yes, and for the loan arranger, cross country mortgage, Bruce Woodburn, thirty three years in the business. You can reach me directly on my cell phone number at four zero seven two five zero nine one four four. So we're talking about you looking at property. So as fate would have it, I have bought two properties in the last two weeks. Uh huh. Just bought two properties. Bought them over in Daytona. And let me guess, you bought them in that sweet spot under three hundred thousand. Under three hundred thousand. That's the fastest. That's the most appreciation. That's the most demand. Right. I and mean, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna be able to rent those. I might even be able to do an Airbnb, or I might. I'm considering doing traveling nurses, so I can have a little bit longer term, but more positive rent cash flow. Yep. But here's the thing, you guys. Look, at, rents went up 20% last year. They're predicted to go up 20% this year, but they're not seeing 20%. They're seeing 30, well, 40, 50% increase in rents. Median, median price. A year ago, two hundred ninety-five thousand in Central Florida. Yep, three seventy. 
Yes. You know, so that's 20, 25% appreciation that's on the That's as of price. what, April? That was April of 21 from, to April, April of 22. 22. And that's what's, that's the hard part about this demand. That's a Central Florida market. Is that what this it is? This is all Central Florida. So it's ironic because I was looking at Seminole County. Some Seminole County must have just had a surge because I looked at, um, just uh, April of, uh, excuse me, March of this year yep. and April of this year. So March, it was at three sixty nine ninety. Yep. April, it was at three ninety. That was a twenty four thousand dollar increase in one month in Seminole County. I had to look at the numbers twice. I'm like, could this possibly be real? Well, and in a median price, this is, and I think what's happening, Bruce, is what's called a placeholder house. And this is the buyer that's frustrated looking, let's say they're looking from 450 to 550 and they're like, well, dang it, let's just go buy that one for 375 and, and pay 410 on it. And, right. And they're smoking the first time buyer. They're just, they're just blowing their offer out of the water. And there's some of the, some of that happening. Now you still got to be priced reasonably. I got about five phone calls last week from people saying we haven't sold. And I'm like, let me come look at it. Let the doctor see it. And let's, let's diagnose the problem. And For sure. I fixed the problems on three of them. We're going to get them on the market. And there is just simple fixes. And it wasn't price on a couple of them. So, and, and then I've got some other homes. You know, I had one at 850 that I advertised on the last show. I had 10 offers on it. And believe it or not, bless their little heart real estate, I call it, sent me, I mean, there's people that sent me offers for 800 <laughs> and had escalation clauses to 830. And I'm like, you need to go find another job or you need to go sit with your broker and do more training if you even know who your broker is. So the public knows what things are going for. They know about what it costs to fix up a home and they've got so much information on their phone. They will give you a good offer. You're going to hit a home run if you get it priced right and marketed right. No question. And you'll about get a good, you'll get a good uh, th- buy. The, the, the next part, the next problem, call me. I'll, I will arrange for your next home. So here's what we're hearing on the news. The news is all to scare you that things are, are, you know, going to pull back. You know, the, the world's going to catch on fire. We're going to have, so listen, we're into some tougher times. There's no question that inflation is going to create a lot tougher times for, for the middle class America. There's no question about it. I didn't vote for the idiot, but that will be a problem. However, my biggest competitor in this industry, and people ask me, Bruce, who's your biggest competitor? You know who my biggest competitor is, Cleve? Cash. Yeah, There's yeah. still a lot of cash being infused in the yeah. market. That's my biggest competitor. I don't compete with other mortgage companies. Very rarely will I compete with another mortgage company. I am telling you, right now is an opportune time. I'm looking at Daytona. I'm looking at Ocala. I'm looking at investments. I'm looking, and people can work remotely. So you could work in Orlando and, and do your job from Ocala. You can still buy properties under 300000 in Ocala that are, are nice. They're nice homes. I just told, so we sold 10 acres in Pearson. Right. North Volusia. Yes. The edge of Volusia. Uh, 10 acres for 275000 Beat up how the house needs to be just knocked down or rebuilt, um, but just the land, ten acres for two hundred seventy five thousand. That's just you just there's none it's of that incredible. left. Incredible. I almost laugh when people call me, and I know you've got your construction perm products, but they yes. want you've that's finding a lot in a nice neighborhood in the metro area in Orlando. You can do that, but you're going to pay three fifty to six hundred to knock down an Absolutely. older home and rebuild your mansion. So now and listen, speaking of of building wealth and real estate. You and I are looking at doing another class on June 1st, but yes. I'm tired of doing the Zoom thing. I got to tell you, I just don't feel the energy in the room when we're doing Zoom. Yeah, staring so, at the screen, yeah. So I want to do an in-person event, and I'm trying to get the people at Ale House in Winter Park at Lee Road in 1792 to answer the phone because they're not answering the phone, and I want to book a little room over there so we can buy people appetizers and maybe they could have a drink. So I, we are going to teach a class called How to Win in Real Estate in 2022 because the game has changed, right? I mean, you have to have a little different strategy. There's some basic things that, are the, the, that will always be true, but yes, what's going on in this market, you've got to know how to get into it, get your foot in the door, and then we'll show you how to build wealth. So listen, I want you to mark your calendar, and I want you to text me if you're interested in this class. I don't have it confirmed yet for the location, but I'm considering Ale House of Winter Park on We're June, doing it somewhere. June the 1st. Yeah. We're, We're going to do it somewhere. It. June the 1st, 
and it'll be about 6 p.m., 6.30 p.m. I'm going to say 6 p.m. so we can get out of there at a reasonable time. But we're going to cover all the ins and outs, the ups and downs, the strategies that I'm using and Cleve is using today to purchase investment properties in this market. Now, it's okay if you're a first-time home buyer. You're welcome to come in. You're going to learn a lot, and I'm going to show you how you can amass massive wealth in real estate. As a matter of fact, I'd like to get you in if you know anybody that's in their 20s that wants to buy or has already got their first home and ready for their second home, get them into this class. But you must text me. Don't don't do don't email me on this because I haven't got the venue settled out. Text me at 407 250 nine one four four and just put home buying event and i will respond to you and keep you in the loop as to whether alehouse will pick up the phone and let me utilize one of their rooms now here's what we're doing i'm not charging fifteen hundred dollars to get into this event okay we're not gonna have a monthly coaching fee it's not a monthly coaching <laughs> fee i'm not selling any cds like the hotel or seminar tapes, yeah. okay but here's what it is i've got to take care of the venue and I've got, and I want to have a little bit of food and drinks for people when they come in. So it's $25 per person, $30 per couple. So you get your second person in for five bucks. It's a no brainer. Just come and join me. We're going to learn a lot. And I guarantee you, you will walk out of that room going, this is what we have to do. If I can't convince you and Cleve can't convince you through our actions, like, we didn't do this back in 1974, and we teach these classes. I, I drove by my first house, Bruce. I sold a listing right down the street. I cried. I think yeah. I sold. I sold it for seventy or seventy-five. It's worth three thirty now. Well, you know, Michelle and, and I made rental. some mistakes too. We you know, sold so a bunch of properties. We'll help you not years. make those mistakes. We'll right. show you how to build a good basis mm-hmm. to your wealth to your portfolio. Right. So listen, Cleve and I are doing it. We're in the market right now. We know how to negotiate the deals. We know how to, the areas that we're buying in. And we will help you to be able to get your foot in the door and start amassing some wealth. It's going to be made in real estate. I'm going to tell you that our median price will be in the mid-sixes by 2026. So that's just around the corner. You're going to wink an eye and go, oh, my God, I cannot find a house for under 600000 That will be the news that you get in 2026. I can tell you that. It will happen. So... Text me again at 407-250-9144. If you'd like to go ahead and get the application started so that you're prepared and you're ready to go to buy a house or get pre-approved, go to my website at webringyouhome.com. Webringyouhome.com. I've got every loan program that anyone could possibly think of. Yep. What can you think of that I don't have? I don't know it. You amaze me with some of the stuff you come up with. And I'm I've like, got you're, two I'm loans like I don't do. I don't do lot loans and I don't do commercial loans. Yeah, I mean, but some of the your VA construction perms, you know, build a house v, crazy know, construction perm, your your FHA construction perm, um, your jumbos Re- rehab, with, your jumbos, jumbos with three percent down, three percent no down jumbos with no PMI, no PMI. I mean, I'm, that's just nuts. My fast track program. So listen, Cleve and I see you guys struggling out there every day because you're making offers on houses and getting beat out. I have a system that will increase the chances on you getting that offer by up to 70%, but you've got to follow some basic strategies, and Cleve and I can help you with that. Call Cleve at 407-352-8118 or call the loan arranger, Bruce Woodburn, at 407-250-9144. we got about one minute. I want to, just, when I was talking about numbers, Bruce, I'm looking at this chart here. It's kind of funny. Inventory two years ago, it was, this was the beginning of COVID. Right. In April of 20, the lockdowns, I think, were happening. We had 8,000 homes for sale. Then it's dropped. Every month since then, inventory has gone down, down, down. As interest rates went way down, supply, and supply went down, demand goes up. And what's funny here, Bruce, I think we're, you know, we're kind of, I think we're reaching the top of the market where the market will stabilize and hold still. We're not going to plummet and crash no, we're not like 2008, plummet. 9, and 10. But there's, there's hardly any defaults out there. No defaults unless somebody dies, you said. But like inventory drops. Well, who would default when you've made so much money in equity? Exactly. You're, yeah. You, you would have to literally have died or lost your job and you just can't or your find mind. another job. Yeah. Yeah, or lost your mind. Yeah. So it, it's just, and if you know somebody, I just had somebody call me and I helped a lady out. She she was little, she was lost as far as she thought she she didn't know what she would do. She, to, she was going to lose her home. She didn't know and did the numbers for. Her. Nobody had told her she had a hundred grand in equity. All right, we'll be right back after this. Yep. One more time, your number four zero seven three five two eight one one eight for Loveland Properties or LovelandReport dot com. Yep. And for the Lone Ranger four zero seven two five zero nine one four four or WeBringYouHome dot com. Stay tuned. 
We'll be back in five minutes with some more juicy news on the real estate market.